Today on Gearbox we're looking at the Redel Acrobat wireless comm system. Now Acrobat's interesting because it runs on a decked wireless platform. So it runs 1880 to 1930 megahertz and it does that using these power over ethernet style antennas. Um, what that means is that A, you don't need to worry about licensing a lot and uh, B, you can have multiple cells such as it is. It's kind of like a mini cellular platform if you think of it that way. Um, the system uses the Acrobat WB2 wireless belt pack. Now these belt packs can select uh, two channels to listen and talk on simultaneously. And um, basically the system uh, that we're looking at today is a CC8. Now that system will support up to 35 antennas uh, and 18 individual party lines. There's analog audio input and output as well as GPI contact closure triggers. Um, so that means you can basically hang a whole pile of belt packs off the system. Uh, you can have individual belt packs only talking with each other. So you can have talk around channels or you can use the system to interface to part of a larger matrix comm system such as the artist. Because it's digital you don't get a whole lot in the way of RF interference and um, the signal is basically going to work or it's not. Uh, the clever thing about the, the cell based system, basically you've got one master antenna and then you hang the other antennas off standard power over ethernet switches. The system's not at all fussy about this. Um, it, it's not even radically fussy about what kind of cable you use. So you could potentially run it in multiple areas of a venue using existing building infrastructure for Cat5. Um, the only real restriction is that your antennas can't be more than three hops away through switches from the base station. Uh, it's largely self-aware and self-discovering. Basically, um, the, you can do some additional configuration of the system, but essentially when you plug it in uh, and switch it on, it, it sort of just works. And I think that's a really appealing thing. Now the belt packs, ruggedized, Rubber edging, they run on a rechargeable battery, which is notionally good for about eight hours. You can update the internal software on the belt pack via Cat5 cable, standard four pin XLR for headsets. Um, look, the belt packs are, are functional in design. <laughs> they're, they're not the most elegant, but they certainly work. Um, and they're easy to use as well. It's a very simple operation. You've got listen levels for each channel and you push on the relevant channel button or sorry, the relevant channel encoder to talk. Those push functions are also used as menu, enter and escape buttons, and you navigate through the menu using the call and S call buttons as well. Now, as I mentioned, there's GPI and GPO interfaces on the back of the CCI8. Now, a GPI is basically just a relay or contact closure, and you can set up the system such that when you press a call button on any of the bell packs, it will actually trigger a contact closure on a GPI. So you can use that for uh, a FOIA bell or a paging system, whatever you like. Uh, the basic premise there is that you're able to control things outside of just the wireless system from within a belt pack. And that's pretty cool too. Where this system's gonna work well is for people who don't understand a lot about comms because RF comms is not a simple thing, uh, especially not once you get into the licensing requirements that are involved. Not everyone's gonna need the range you can get on RF comms, not to mention some of the interference problems you can also have. Um, so in that regard, the performer and the Acrobat combination works really well for applications where the users don't necessarily have a lot of knowledge on how to set up comms. It's very easy just to drop a rack in, plug in a couple of antennas, even if you've got to send them via existing patch points in a building, and then the system is up and running. It really is that simple. Now, full system of Acrobat, so say a base station, a couple of antennas, six belt packs, it's gonna cost you about $27,500 plus GST if you wanna buy it. The good news is, for about two and a half grand, you can actually rent the system on a weekly basis or a bit less than that, obviously, for single day hires. It integrates nicely, it's the Redel Acrobat.